Thanks for staying with us. Joining us on the show now is the Deputy Governor of Edo State, Mr. Philip Shebo. He'll be speaking on his person, um, governance in Edo, his relationship with the governor, his bid to become governor, and so much more. You can join the conversation by calling us on 081 076 416 You can tweet to us at TVC Entertainment. And you can also tweet to us at um, hashtag, uh, TVC Connect. You can hashtag to, uh, your view TVC so we can read your tweets. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you very much. Welcome, sir. Hmm. Let me just take a deep dive because we don't have There's time no for less. There's so much to talk to you about. So we know, based on what we've read in the news, that you're a very ambitious governor, deputy. Your deputy governor, trying to become governor. You've done eight years with your current principal. And he's not in support of your ambition, based on what we've seen in the newspapers. And yet, you're adamant on running for office. Oh God, who's bankrolling you? <laughs> what's, that, what's, that, what's that support, that backing you have? Yeah. To have the confidence that you know what, no matter what, I'm I am doing. doing. This. Yeah, yeah. yeah, happy new year to you yes, all. Happy new year. Happy new year. And I think I'm blessed among women this morning. Yeah. <laughs> First day of uh, the year. Yes. Well, who is bankrolling me? God. God is the one giving me all the money and all everything that I'm using. It's God. God that is doing that. Because if I have to, if Philip have to compete with the governor, uh, Philip cannot actually meet up with the governor, knowing that he has the treasury in his disposal, the state treasury. So it's not Philip really against Governor Basaki. It is uh, Philip that has the grace of God versus uh, Governor Baseki. So and when, you, when, when God is in your battle, all the doors open. So, mm. so and I, I, I'm, I'm happy, I'm excited. Let, let, let me, let me yeah, allow so me, for, I know you're <laughs> late on the follow jumping, up. but I have to follow up with that. Yeah. Yeah. Because we've seen the presidential candidates yeah. who said something very similar. That it's not about the machinery, it's not about that, I can't, it's the same God that is going to push me, and we saw how the election, so sometimes if we just say, if we believe that you don't need the machinery that is on ground to run this thing called politics, you, you might not work, you, might, you may need God and, and machinery and the whole support. So <laughs> in your view, do you really believe that without this, this bank machinery. Hole, this machinery that is available to your, to your principal, can you still become governor? I need the I need the governor. Don't be, I need the governor to support me to mm -hmm. be governor. But most importantly, I need the people to support me more. Okay. And when I say God, I'm talking about the people, okay. because mm -hmm. God will not come as stand and say I am God. I'm supporting you. <laughs> God will use destiny helpers to make it possible. And I have a lot of these destiny helpers that are in. I can bet you that. Uh, I have a long list of people saying, I will buy your phone. We will buy your phone. We have collected money. So as I speak to you now, I can tell you the cost of the form. I have already have about 10 different people and mm, two different groups mm. waiting to be the one to buy the form. Awesome. So when you put 10 plus 2 mm. times 35 million, just check what is, what is there. So I'm not even going to buy the form by myself. Mm. And there are two groups again in diaspora, the Boston group, and the European group, those ones who are telling me, look, uh, when, when, is the, when are they supposed to buy your form? Because we're already gathering something. But I'm just letting you know so that you don't allow others to do it. So when Whoa. I say God is there, he's using people. He's he's using people. His... So the structure is God. And God, God, God uses people. And for me, I call it destiny helpers. Yeah. Uh, because frankly speaking, <laughs> I have assisted a lot of people. And by the grace of God, I have worked for people. I worked for two governors now in Edo State. And when I mean work, I put everything that I have in terms of my structure, in terms of my name, in terms of money, mm. everything to, to have two governors in Edo State, Kormirad and Sushomole and Obaseke. Mm. Check their trajectory. For them to be governor of the state, check my impact, check what I did in for both sides. So, and, I, and, and not only that I have assisted them to become governor, I'm somebody that I put everything to supporting anybody I want to support. Yes, yes, and I can you tell you, so for me now, yeah. it is my turn. Yeah. It's my turn for it's both. A Miloko. Yeah, Miloko now. Miloko. Yeah, Miloko, Miloko. <laughs> it's my turn for Comrade <laughs> Adans Ashomole <laughs> and Baseki to support me. Okay. Mm. So I want yes. to ask you a question um, concerning your relationship with the governor. Yeah. I want to have an insight into how you was working with him for the number of years that you've done, eight years, and how 
you reacted when you realized that he was not in support based on the relationship you've had with him? Just give us an insight. That would help us understand what is going yeah, on. Yeah, it's when I discovered that the governor had his own plan separately from supporting me, my take is that I will not fight. I made up my mind I will not fight. I don't want to repeat the mistake of Oshomoli. And so I said I was not going to fight. And whatever it is, I will leave it in the table. What I just did was to go on my knee and ask God, should I proceed on this journey? And I, I need signs to proceed. And one of the signs was that, let me continue to beg the governor. Let me use others to talk to the governor. If he persists, if he continue to do what he's doing negatively, it shows that you want me to contest. If he stop, that means you don't want me to contest. And, oh. the, and the attack continues. So, I was convinced. So, because I asked, those two signs I asked from God, I said, I'm, the kind of relationship I've had with this man, with the kind of sacrifice I've made, the sacrifice of supporting the election is what people see, but the sacrifice inside government mm. is complete, it's even more mm. in terms of what I've been able to go through, what I've been able to, in, even personal earnings, yeah. Yeah. I had to leave it. You see, I had to be the fool to allow the system to work. Mm. And I made, I made up my mind to be the fool in the system even in the mix of intimidation, harassment, and even personal, yeah. personal uh, when I mean personal, official entitlement, you push it, push it aside. Yeah. You won't believe that in eight years, only one, uh, uh, one uh, jeep for a deputy governor one. In eight years? In eight years, one, just one. How many did, 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 years also have? No, the, 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 the convoy oh, of the governor, the convoy of the governor oh, and the deputy convoy, governor yeah, yeah. is an official thing. Yeah. And because of the security implication That's of the two offices, yeah. it's an office. The office of the governor is one, yes. deputy governor, and same structure. But it was a blessing. For me, I saw it as a blessing that I have some vehicles already. So if, they are, if government are giving this vehicle, this other one will be changing battery or something. So for me, I adjusted and brought in mine, <clears throat> and even bought Belgium vehicles to support. Wow. Okay. And but, but these are not little ones. There are a lot of sacrifice. Mm -hmm. But the good news is that I was able to manage till I now okay. decided to contest. So talking about clarification, um, many times we've seen, as lay people, we see this constant um, um, you know, fight yeah. between a governor and a deputy governor intending to be governor. And so my question is, as politicians, don't you put it into consideration and ask for a written agreement? Was there ever an agreement like that? Is it a gentleman's agreement? Or is it through the course of you know, being in governance you decide, oh, no, I want to do this? Uh, there's no written uh, agreement. And in politics, really, uh, it's difficult to just sit down and say you're writing something that will happen for years. You see, uh, at those states, we started, if you must talk about now, you must talk about 2006, 2007, under Comrade and Social All of us were in the same net. We came with the mantra, no to Godfatherism. Let's take government back to the people. Okay. And that was what brought all of us together to say, we are going to do to change it. Because then the Comrade government told us that the only way money can be available for infrastructural development. It's when you take out the godfathers and bring money, that the money you use in Set. servicing them, yeah. bring it to the center, which was completely true. I used the word, said, uh, these old people are like a chivalet, one kilometer, 200 gallons, or, you know. So, so we, we went on that matter, and we believe, I believe in it, seriously, all of us. So, so that is how we came into governance taking government back to the people, and let's work. So in terms of okay. coming together to say, this is the next, the other one will follow, mm -hmm. there was no conversation like that. But we believe that for us to continue what we started, somebody within the system must continue. That is something in quote that is okay. there. And for me, really, ambitious, I'm not an ambitious person. But I'm somebody that believes that certain things must be done rightly. And when people say I'm bishop, I'm not. I was in my comfort zone when I was drafted to become deputy governor. <coughs> I was not jobless when I was asked to, back to become deputy governor. I was doing very well in the in as of representative. In fact, it took, it took a lot of my followers to beg me mm. to become deputy governor. 
they persuaded me to be deputy governor. I was not comfortable with it because my, my line, my political line was just to be a messenger, mm. speak for the people. They, you know, as Red former president of NAS, my, uh, so that was hot blood now, those uh, activism, you activism. Know? You know, that's what, but when I was asked to be deputy governor, when the thing came, I saw it as God's design. And what I've met in the system, I thank God that I took that opportunity to be deputy governor because what I've seen in the executive arm, there's no way I will have seen it in the legislative arm. Right. And the number of people I've been able to affect positively uh, is, is, uh, is huge. Okay. So I, I am bothered about the method of um, being, I don't want to fight, um, being easily complacent at this time, you know, in the face of things, because I understand the deputy governor, the little uh, political science and law that I understand. It's an elected office. It's constitutionally provided for. Yeah. And if you consider the governor a principal, is where you will do this. But if you consider your office an existing recognized, a legally re recognized office, you'll be in court demanding compelling orders to right. compel him to do the needful. So I... So it just doesn't sit well. Mm. Maybe as an Edu Gesha, this, this fight fight is not <laughs> that you know you didn't fight. Yeah. How do you think the Edu people received this method that you chose? Or is it just within your cycle this full method. that you're encouraged? Yeah, I think a lot of people uh, were shocked because they know me to be a fighter. They oh. know me, yeah, they know me to be a fighter. And suddenly they saw uh, I'm receiving bashing from all ends. I'm, I'm even telling my people, don't I'm reply, don't reply, don't reply. The reason is that I'm an experienced politician. I know I'm going to win the primaries. Mm. And when I win the primaries, I will need all of them, including the governor. Mm. So if I start fighting him now and I get the ticket, he will not support me. He will not be telling, he will not start solving the issues of what I said when I was fighting him. Mm. Yeah. And so I just, my strategy is that let's, even if he slap me in public, just like they did in the church. I went to greet him, he refused. We're going there. No problem. I know Allah, I, I have no this, I'll move. So my strategy was just there. And people actually misunderstood that strategy. Some of them didn't, thought I have given up, I will not contest the election wow. until I declared. I like this immediately, local thing that you're talking about. But we saw the presidential, the larger one, how it played out. Yeah. When it was the time for the South, it was the time for the South, even though the party yeah. Some parties did not agree yeah. for the yeah. Southern yeah. ticket. Yeah. In Edo now, the Edo Central people think it's their time. And you are a donor. How do you want to play that card? How do you think, based on the timing and the need for the people, how do you think? Yeah, so, when I said Milo I mean it with all respect and equity, fairness. It's our turn. And it's my turn in terms of the political circle that. To, the, the, we started in 2007, it's my turn. I haven't worked for two governors in that circle. It's my turn, and I was active. My name was everywhere, fighting for votes. So it's my turn. In terms of senatorial district, Edo Centra had governor. I don't, let's just start from 1999. Yes. You know, without going back, if we go back, Edo Centra had it twice. But let's start from 1999. Lucky Benedio was from Edo South. Governor, mm -hmm. eight years. Eight years. Mm -hmm. After that, Usumbo, 18 months. It's from Edo Central. From Edo Central. Mm -hmm. Edo Central. Mm -hmm. Governor Usumbo was from, is from Edo Central, and he was governor. And if you check our gazette, you see he's receiving pension as former governor. And in the top of our protocol list, is there. Mm -hmm. Then after Usumbo, Edo North, Oshomole. Mm -hmm. After Oshomole, it was supposed to now possibly go to Edo Central, but Edo South came again. Mm. And Edo South became the governor. Mm. You understand? Now, after Edo South, by Nenkecho, Edo South, yes, the biggest, three. the biggest senatorial, they've had it twice from 1999. The next senatorial district is Edo North, and Edo North had it once, and Edo Central once. So if we must follow population, the next is Edo North. 
Well, and that's where I'm coming from. Equity. And yeah, that is the equity. See, Edo, Edo Central, yeah. Osumbo was there, was removed by uh, an election tribunal. Yeah. Yeah. Did he stay up to eight years? Eight, four years. Eight he didn't months. even make three. He was governor. That was what his he case. was. Yeah. yeah. He was. Yeah. But he didn't have eight years. All the executive no, order, all the executive order, order like, like the court said, yes. everything that I did it's, it's is valid yes. and legitimate. So but he was governor. But for timing and equity, mm. do you think Edo North, who had eight years, is still validly um, he, he, Yes, you see, you see uh, it's lazy mind that talk about uh, uh, senatorial districts when they want to look for something. For me, capacity should be the order of the day. Mm. And in terms of the party that I belong, they've never given ticket to a donut person. They've given three tickets out. Yes, Two to a do south, one to a do central. Wow. They've not given any to a donut. So, so if we go through many parameters, a donut is, is a nest, and I am is a Miloko at this time. Okay. And <laughs> now, I'm curious to find to know is, you know, because we heard a lot of things in yeah, the news, yeah. and there are some things we assumed, and one of the things is, did you ever sit down with Governor after the stories of how he treated you in church or how your um, office was closed up and you were sent somewhere? Was there a conversation before or after then? And what was the conversation about, if you can share it? Yeah, I think uh, the f only conversation we'd had over this thing was a meeting that was called by one of our leaders and in his house and over my, um, my contest. And I, as at that time, I, I made it clear that I was consulting and I've not made up my mind. And frankly speaking, I was consulting. I wasn't, I'm, I'm not somebody that jumped into things in a hurry. So I was not sure. I was also asking myself, should I contest this election? So I needed to consult. But I started with non-politicians because I wanted to start from that angle because politicians, some of their interests may come in and they just advise based on their interest. So I decided to go outside, I went to the clergy, went to businessmen, went to those that are not partisan. And the, the feeling that I got was overwhelming. They were even telling me why certain things that I, they thought I should be able to continue and why they feel. And I saw it. And at the end of the day, I now made up my mind that, okay, I'm going to fast and pray. And I've seen the governor do X and X. If he continues, that means yes. Mm. If he stop, that means no. And the thing I increased, that gave me the confidence. That's why when people see me that, with what you are going through, you, are, you look rough, you are ruffled. I say yes, because I ask God that. What's in your calm? This, yes. And I say, this man continue with this. It means that I should contest. So when he was doing it, he was actually giving me the carbohydrates, the energy, <laughs> to actually he was contest for God's it. Word. God, God, confirming God's word. And really? I'm really excited about it. I'm yeah, happy about it. Really, really excited. Do you have with us our special guest with us? Um, BC had a question, go ahead. Yes, so uh, I know very soon, start asking you your plans if you <laughs> win the primaries and all of that. But um, you know in politics, uh, especially the way we play it in this part of the world, I haven't lived anywhere else, so I don't know. Uh, they say loyalty trumps capacity. And sometimes the principals would like somebody uh, who is more loyal to them than even the person they know can deliver you know, better on the job. And, you know, because of what has been happening in some quarters, they have said that you're not a loyal person. I would like you to address mm. that. How I do you place that in politics? How do you play loyalty in politics, but also do not forget your dreams? My question is similar to that. So let me just add mine. So my question was about, what is it exactly about you that you think the governor doesn't like? Or would not, the reason why he doesn't want to support, is it because of loyalty issues? Or what exactly is the, is the core you think. of you, your, from your own perspective, why he, he's not supporting you? Yeah, uh, I think in terms of loyalty, I think uh, people get it, or the governor's people are getting it all wrong. Loyalty to the governor and to the state, you can't fault me on that. You can't fault, even the governor can't fault me in terms of loyalty. Ambition and loyalty, they are two separate things. Okay. So they have to separate it. Ambition is guaranteed by the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Okay. Loyalty is given, and I've given that loyalty 100%. I just, I, I told you, I sacrificed a lot to keep the relationship, right. a lot. I even had to, my own political father, 
uh, Comrade Adams Oshomole, I disagreed with him. Disloyal to him. Be, no, no, not disloyal. I disagree with him when we wanted to move, change, uh, move the goalposts when the match had started mm -hmm. okay. in, in favor of Obaseke. Even when, as at the time I was doing that, I know what I was deprived of. Yeah. Personal and official, I was deprived of a lot of them. But I didn't mind. It was not about what I earned. It's not about me. It's about what we've started. And I see it work. I saw it worked under Oshomole. I saw it worked. So for me, that trajectory must not be cut short. Yeah. And I had to put everything in it, loyalty 100% to, to the government. What is what? What, what did you do? Now, ambition is just the problem. Oh. The only problem I have with the governor it's is just dream. my dream of becoming governor. No, no, Nothing no, more. We don't have problem. any personal issues. What is his problem? What do you think his problem is with you? Is it fear of your ambition? Ah. Or do you think there's something about he has on you? Actually, that I mean, he both, both, the, some, some secret that you guys have, or something between the two of you that it's nobody else hair. knows. There's got to be something yeah. he, he knows. Or, know. or does yeah, he yeah. not? Or does he not trust that you be a, a good governor I, for this state? I, I, I really don't want to say what I feel in terms of why. Because I've been checking and I've been hearing different conversations. Some say the guy is bringing his business partner. So, and the guy, Chairman Stalin Bank, Stalin Bank, official bank of the state government, uh, uh, transactions in the state, he knows much about the transaction as uh, his business partner. Uh, so, so, a lot of speculation. So I cannot actually put my hand, lay my hand on any one of what the issues are. Because I check the, the way it was not like putting light off and switching it off. The, the, the way the governor just changed. It was like putting light, you know, the way you switch off light. Yeah, and yeah. So, I, so just checking, listening to, you know, I'm, a, I'm an own boy, listening to the streets. The street <laughs> is telling me uh, 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 it's his partner. The other one, uh, one time somebody said capacity. At our capacity, I said, hey, okay. I check. I say, if capacity means when you are given an assignment and your assignment becomes the flagship of the administration, then I don't have capacity. But if capacity is that you're given assignment and you fail, and that makes you uh, have capacity, then I don't have. So for me, all the assignments that I've handled in this government, they are the flagship of the government now. We, we pride ourselves that we have done this, we have done that. Those things that are under, so under my purview. So in terms of capacity, I, I, that okay. one is not there take, at all because I have the score. capacity. Nelson is calling from State to State. Good morning. Oh, Hello, Nelson. Nelson. Is this I think I lost like, that call. Yeah. So, okay, so oh. there's a way you, you described yourself of someone of great influence in how it impacted the current governor and the previous governor. And so I would think that anyone coming against you would understand the political impl implication. Do you truly believe you have that sort of influence that could scuttle, you know, um, our, the current governor's um, ambition for whoever it is that he wants, given what people may have described as a disloyalty to the previous governor? Uh, I do people. We, do, we are very sophisticated people in terms of our thinking. We are very sophisticated. I can bet you go to the street of Benin, go to the street of Epoma, go to the street of uh, Dodot. They will tell you that it, it, when they were taking out my billboard, some called me and said, you don't need billboard, we know you. Mm. We don't need billboard, leave there, let them remove all the billboards. They need to use those billboards for their own because they don't know that one. Uh, <laughs> so, but you, you don't, you don't, so you understand. So I am confident that the structure that I see and the, 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 the uh, people that I know, they will not support anybody okay. that they, they feel is an outsider. Mm. They know me, they can feel me, they can touch me. And that is why they are all saying, don't stop. Some I even say, if they try anything, you go somewhere else. Mm. And I say, no, we'll get it here. Okay, so, so there are a lot of things. Else, okay, okay, ahead, maybe like yeah. another party. So because you were talking about the streets just now, I remember the tweet from Edo Lights and he's talking about how the streets are boiling. Yeah. There's so much criminality happening in Edo State right now. Yesterday he tweeted that if you live in certain areas in Edo State, in Benin particularly, he called out about six areas and said, courtism, dead bodies are everywhere in Edo hmm. State right now. 
and um, a fan of the show, Ehi, is also Benin. He's tweeting right now saying, Benin reportedly is littered with dead bodies. He's confirmed from police officers. You, as the Edo State government, he, they're also alleging that the government in politics give guns to vigilantes that empowers this and all this problem. What exactly would you say you have done? And what would yeah. you do if you get to Edo to stem the courtism happening? The sad thing is that even in Aochi, when I traveled, I wasn't pleased. When I traveled this year, I wasn't pleased by the things I saw. You know, the, the drive of the youth. <clears throat> how involved in the street are you? How concerned are you about these problems? And what would you do to change them? Yeah, I'm really, really concerned. I'm really, really concerned. And uh, security issues are not what you talk in public. But I can tell you that I can handle the problems of a new state mm. security-wise. I've done it before as an acting governor of the state. I, I acted twice now as governor in eight years. One was uh, for one month, the other one was for 15 days. And unfortunately, unfortunately, the first 30 days, I had, we had uh, uh, S-men and uh, farmer clashes were at the peak. At that time, I was acting. And what I simply did was to reorganize the vigilante network. The first ever meeting with all the DPOs, I called all the DPOs, called all the hunters, called all the restructured, restructured vigilante group, called all the first class village chief, first set of meeting, and reorganized the secretary architecture. Got the federal government, the chief of army staff, chief of air staff, to come to our rescue. And what did I do? We went, they got some drones from uh, the Air Force, got a helicopter from them, and they came to comb our bushes to check what they should. Okay. And what we saw was an eyesore. Hmm. An eyesore. And we had to call a second meeting. Within that one month, got the village head to now be involved. And I gave a matching order that anything that happened within that vicinity, the village head must be held responsible. Mm -hmm. So the implication is that I, brought, I, I involved the traditional rulers now mm -hmm. in governance in their domain. And we agree. And I released some fund, funding. And they said uh, we need a vehicle. 100 million was my limit to be spent in one month. There's no way I can buy. And after 24 million was uh, HELOX. That means if I must spend the 100 million as well. Mm -hmm. So I have to check. There was a police officer that worked in Lagos before. And yeah, he was now there. I think he was the area commander of uh, uh, the central uh, area axis. Mm -hmm. And he said, Oga, you don't need Hilux. In Lagos, there's this Siena 2020, 2002 Siena. We use it in Lagos. Mm. I said, hey. he said, you don't need to go into New Zuga. And I asked, after the meeting, I asked how much well, they buy this Siena. So at that time, 1.9 million. You buy it, then refurbishing, change tire and everything, 2 point, about 2.3 million, so 2.2 different. And I ordered 20. Immediately, mm -hmm. republish them and we push them in. <clears throat> I can bet you, after cleaning the bush with the Air Force and the military, and I introduced what we call bush combing. Every week, the village head, the DPO in that area, they go into the bush to do bush combing. Mm -hmm. And the farmers return back to their farm. To their farm. And when the, governor came, me... when the governor came from that leaf, he wrote a commendation letter. Okay. Thank you, me. You still have it? I, I still have it here. I can give it to okay. you. It wrote a commendation okay. letter praising me, and we now adopted that security architecture. But the problem today is that we didn't follow through. Mm. And as deputy governor, it's only one what you are given you are that you can do. And the 15th day, the other one was the when I acted for 15 days. There was uh, this Igwebe train station hijack, if you remember. Yes, yes. And I gave another order that in seven days, we must rescue these people. Mm -hmm. I left from the front. I got the same village heads in that area, Walk with Delta to also block their own axis, kept these people in the bush. I was there for five days, and we rescued these people. Wow. You understand? So I'm bringing practical government. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be leading from the office or from the laptop. I am going to from be Lagos. giving straight or, or from, from or from no, right, no. let me go on a very oh, short. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for staying with us yes I, I find what you talked about earlier very commendable but what i am referring to 
is courtism. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and the worrisome thing is that you are, they arrest, make arrests in the morning and you see the boys in the evening strolling around. What exactly can be done to ensure that we take this menace off the street so the people can walk freely again? Yeah, like I said, revolutionary tactics are not discussed in public, but I can tell you that... This is not a matter of what you... The issue of headsmen and all of that come in the bush, those are revolutionary. What you need to do with courtism is, you know, um, prosecution, conviction and mindset changing. We can't have every 20% of our youth in their thinking. It's even a joke. You know, there are skits. Ah, you, you born Curtis, you born, uh, yeah, you born, you know, yeah, those, who, I just don't want to, you know, those negatives are popularized. What exactly, you know, I'm driving yeah. towards a, a goal. Every environment have its peculiar uh, setting. Every environment, every state has its peculiar setting. Advices. What is good for the other side may not be the same method that is good for your state. And that's why I'm, I, I don't want to disclose too much. Yeah. In the, I don't want to disclose too much. To deal with courtism is something we can handle. We can handle it. I've made some suggestions before. We can handle it. And uh, when this thing was coming up, some of the suggestions I gave, the CP then worked with it and we were able to bring it down. Now we need to just improve on it and consistent monitoring. We know the, they have records of the, the heads of various courtes group. They have all of them. And so, so in they language, what are, they, 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 are, they are faces. They are faces. Okay, so me, you can deal with it. Mm. Really. Okay, because of time, let me just try, because we have a lot of questions I want to ask you. Um, you said something earlier that being a, a, a politician, experienced politician, and uh, you rather lead from the front and not from laptops and stuff like that. <laughs> but there's a school of thought that believes that for you to really make substantial progress in state, you need to create jobs. Yeah. Creating jobs is not just doing the... Um, the political, uh, the political governance, no, no, no. you know, it's more yeah. of attracting investors. Yeah. Uh, how, what, how do we do to build an economy, which it seems to some people, the school of thought, that Obaseki has been able to, to attract mm. foreign interest into that state. Um, so many will believe that a technocrat being a governor, and maybe a politician being a deputy governor, is always a better... Um, combination, combination yeah. to drive yeah. a state. So maybe it could be that could be one of the reasons why Obaseko believes that, listen, I need a technocrat who is going to create jobs, who can actually continue the work I'm doing, not another politician that will be focusing on, okay, I'll talk to the others here, I'll to just, you know, get everybody happy and, you know, could that, could that be a reason or do you, do you believe in that combination? Yeah, yeah, that's why I said that every state has its peculiarity. Edo will not welcome any technocrats. Now, maybe in the future, yes, but I will not welcome any technocrat now. And because of what they see now, that is the truth. I, I will say it the way it is. You can throw me away, but my, my, you can't throw my, my, my words it remains. That is the truth. And why is that? Even in the name of technocrat, I will not pride myself as a technocrat. I have had both political I mean, public and private experience. What I see now, in court, uh, private sector is governed by regulation, while public sector is governed by laws. And they come with that mindset of private sector, and they forget the law. For instance, today, we have Subeb. We don't have a board. We only have one lady. We only have one lady that is yeah. chairman. I was not clear by the house. Imagine that. That's an aberration. Mm -hmm. Because as a private sector, you can do that. It's your company. You can decide to fire and hire. In public sector, you can't fire and hire. There's procedures. So when you come with the mindset... Well, some will argue that that's the problem with Nigeria. Because we, want, we focus so much on the, on the bureaucracy. bureaucracy. <laughs> Although this is, how, this is how it's done. Because somebody's trying to... The, the, the solution... I'll come to you, sir. The solution is every child must be educated. Learning must take place. That's my solution. How to get there is get in those technocrats to do the job. Because so all the bureaucratic processing is how it's done. Those are political considerations that Nigerians really don't want to don't need. Get, don't need. Let me tell you, I handle sports in a do state. I handle sports in a do state. And the bureaucracy of government, you cannot run sport with bureaucracy of government. When I got there, I discovered that uh, the problem of sport was government bureaucracy. Yeah. 
and 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 the government has said we want to make Edo a sporting hub, and you have experience, go and do it. So it's my lot now to find a way out of this bureaucracy and see, make sure I maintain standard. Okay. And what did I do? I reorganized the financing. I reorganized the system. So from my office to the list person, if I need anything approved, same day or within 24 hours, the people that need the fund, we get the fund. So bureaucracy is how the head decides to make it efficient, that it will be efficient. So bureaucracy of government is meant to create a system where there's accountability mm -hmm. and Let's there's no fraud. And that's why in, in private sector, you can cut the chain in your transaction. In public sector, no matter you attempt to cut chain, the system still have you the records. You are the executive. Why is the House of Assembly of Edo State not talking about this? In Lagos recently, when the elections were done, and the governor sent his list for his cabinet, the speaker stood his ground and said, it must be done this way. Why didn't the House of Assembly or the Speaker take a stand about this? Yeah, every house has its own system Peculiar. and peculiarity. When I was in the State House of Assembly, we have engaged <laughs> the then governor, both Osumbo and uh, Governor uh, uh, Oshomole. And we have said no to this, no to that. And we come, we discuss, and some of those things we say no to, the see reason why we say no. Uh, so if this house decides that everything that the executive bring goes, is their own system. That is what they've They're adopted. They're acting like a rubber stamp. I don't know, but that is what they have uh, decided. <laughs> so I don't want to yeah, speak about it. Yeah. I think the speaker will be better to answer that question because okay. for me, I can speak about our own assembly, how mm -hmm. effective and efficient that assembly was. And sometimes the, the comrade even commended us for insisting. Because some of this thing is to make the system work. It's not, it don't, it's not just rubber stamp anything that comes. Mm -hmm. you, must, you must be able to engage. But through that engagement, even the person saying you should do certain things, we now see a reason why you should not even do it. And I'm from the school of thought, uh, from my activist background, from two of short, where uh, issues are discussed, superior ones have their way. Okay. Mm. So, sir, um, let's go back a bit. You know, um, we, you talked earlier about having to disagree with Oshomole just to um, be on, you know, in this government with Obaseke and, and support him. What were the qualities you saw in him that made you want to be part or agreed, because you said you were um, persuaded, agreed to be part of his government? Yeah, one of the things um, you must give to the governor uh, that we must give to him was his ability to reorganize the finances to the extent that we can pay sal salary as and when due. It was part of the thing Oshomole told us that when we bring him, he will be able... Oshomole saw a recession coming and I said he needed an economist. That was one of the things he used in convincing us. He didn't bully us. He didn't intimidate us. He didn't stop any salary or anything. He had a conversation with us. He, we had more than 10, 15 conversations before we now agree to support Obaseki. And one of the things he said was that he would want somebody that would be prudent in management of resources and be able to bring capital in. And, we, and one thing he said that he wants somebody that can sustain civil service salary without defaulting. So he was able to do that. Till today, he has been able to do that. Uh, you understand? So that is one of them. The other one was uh, our effort to, to, to deal with the issue of basic education. Oshomole built, built infrastructure, red roof everywhere. But the content, we brought the content mm. in this one. So, so there, then uh, we reorganized the, 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 one of the major problems we also had with Comrade was we organized the tax system. We came to Lagos to study under study Lagos. And when I was asked to handle that, I also went on one or two training to, be, to, be, to brush myself on management of that, digitalizing the system. We were able to also take the area boys and start, remove their toga of area boys and wear them suits and re 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 reorganize and restructure our, our internally generated revenue where we have raised, we are not talking about 60 to, 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 to 70 billion in a year in a budget. You touched on... So, so those are some of the things mm. that... And also, one thing that is dear to me was health. Mm. Uh, health. I've always, I've always, each time I go to UBTH or Euro Specialist, we have a health foundation, and I see the crowd that I see there. 
I feel no. Uh, tertiary institution, health institution should not be the first point of call. Okay. We should primary be dealing health. with primary health. Primary health. Yeah. And by uh, WHO standard, three kilometers to every neighborhood to your house. There should be a health center. That should be the first point right. of call. And, and I saw the governor also thinking in that direction. Yeah. So, so those are some of the qualities, and those are some of Talk the areas I'm going to deal with and improve. Talk about improve basic education, it. because I know that Edo, Edo was one of the places that even us in Lagos did study to see how you're doing. Yeah. What's the success of Edo Best? Do you think it's something you're going to continue or stop? No, no, no. I will continue with Edo Best with uh, practicalizing almost everything that we have done. There are some hiccups which definitely will, but continue to do best. I'll take it to the next level. We'll, I'll take it to the secondary school. We are, we are actually dealing with a primary and GSS. That's where we are now. I'll take it to secondary because we still have a lot of gaps in, the sec in senior secondary school, yeah. teachers and all those things. So I'm going to take, we have a do best 1.0. I'm taking it to 2.0 by including the senior secondary school. Okay. So it's a project that okay. we'll continue, but we'll do with some little adjustment. But it's oh. a program that must continue. Okay. Uh, with the fallout of things now, do you sit down and regret ever disagreeing with Oshomole on Abasaki's account? Yeah, Oshomole, people have asked me, I, do, I, I regret because uh, the governor I supported is now fighting me. I said no. You know, the only thing, and I've apologized, I'm still apologizing to Comrade Adan Soli Oshomole. I regret when I listen to the language. Mm -hmm. And that's why I say I don't want to repeat okay. the same, same thing. Mistakes. The language, I regret those language. But in terms of the principle to support Obaseke, if I still have the opportunity, I'll support Obaseke. Because at that time, that was the right thing to do. Hmm. It's the language. It's not because Obaseke is doing what he's doing now, I will not deny him. No, 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 no. I will support Obaseke again if that scenario plays. But what I will amend is the language. And I apologize again to Comrade Adams so on the language. On this because who is the vengeful one? If you said that, yeah, you know, Comrade Adams Oshomole did the red roofs, he did this, he did that, he did open race. That, for me, is very offensive to have stopped. Because he opened Edo to the world. It was a race internationally recognized. People were coming in for it. For whatever reason, could you have stopped such a thing? Open when, race? Yes. Still on. It's not, it's not being heard. No, it's still on. Where, 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 how? When? No, no, it's still on. The last edition to, uh, held. The only time we didn't have up a race was during the COVID. 2020. 2020. But it's still been on. We didn't hear about it. Uh, it's maybe, not promoted as usual. Uh, maybe. Lagos is still doing the marathon. And okay. it's still popular. No, maybe because I was not in the last race. For family issues, uh, that's why we're still on. It's still on. It's still on. Okay, well, it's still on. No, it's still on. It's, it's, it's still on. It's not cancelled. It's still on. Okay. Only, in, in only in 2020. Only in 2020 that we didn't mm. have it. Did yeah, no late 20. That's what I'm have telling you. Maybe crazy. because uh, you have to allow it. Maybe because that's... I was not there. Yeah. Yeah. So you give celebrities. Yeah. 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 We have to run. We have just a few minutes to go. Yeah. 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 Well, go ahead, man. Yeah. So the governor himself was yeah. in the papers um, some months back. I had to do the roads in Benin, and. He said something that, you know, got Nigerians wondering when he said that it, it looked like the federal government was not listening to his request to repair those roads. Please tell us what happened there. I think I, I don't want to join the blame game. When we are contesting for position, we can be talking party, party, party. But immediately we are sworn in, forget party. It's not the work. It should not do the work. And you must collaborate with whoever you, you need. As governor of Edo State, by the grace of God, it, uh, after being sworn in 2020, this year, yeah, uh, uh, November 12th, I, if it meant to go to the president, Baba, and lie, lie down, down before him, okay. I will lie down with, for him to tell the minister of uh, works. works, go and deal with my son's state and make sure he's, he, 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 the roads and whatever I need, give to him. As the president is making that pronouncement, in uh, we see August visitor in January, in March, and everything. I have done it before. I got the chief of army staff. I got the IG. I got chief of air staff to send their sophisticated uh, equipment 
to a do state and I was used to I, I was able to clear S men. Why did you apply it in this in this case? You I'm not the deputy governor. Go you're the deputy governor. I can only suggest. Yeah. Mm. Okay, let me ask you this question. <laughs> this this, this intention is not on you. Yeah. What if February comes, the primaries take place and you lose out? Mm. What happens? I, I don't lose, I win. So the losing is not losing is not in my. You don't know. Politicians don't know. remember. No. I remember doing the presidential I, I, campaign. A lot of all, all no. of all, the, all, the, all of them no. said they're going to win. No, no, no. Let Somebody me, went let home. Let me tell you, if my party wants to win an election in Edo, mm -hmm. they need Philip Shaibo to be the candidate. A candidate. Mm -hmm. If they want to lose, give it to somebody else. That is the truth. I am not saying it because I feel I'm a superstar. No, 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 no. I have the content. I have the quality, I have the more experience. I can bet you, as we speak now, I have a group of persons that have already worked out rain, rain, station, uh, rain uh, line mm. in Benin, and I call it Oredo Opela train station. And, and as we speak, from Oredo, it stops at Umode. Mm. From uh, Oredo, it goes straight to Okada. From Oredo, it goes straight to Opela. I call it Oredo Opela. From around there, it joins the line going to worry. So you have investors ah, waiting. No, we are working on the program. Now the document is out. Now I'm not checking financing. What, how will you finance? Which one is the first phase, second phase? I discovered that the beneath metro uh, 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 line, which I'll call uh, 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 orange line, <laughs> will take three and a half years to build. Okay. Why the overhead though? Opela will take seven years to build. I'm already working on there. Let me, let me, let me, let me jump in here for okay. a second because you said something that struck me, and I know, I know that you're a politician. Yeah. And I, I kept thinking in my head, you said that we went concerning the roads. Yeah. If you even have to go to the president and lay down flat. Yes. And that, for me, it's is a problem. problem. Mm -hmm. It's one of the issues Nigerians yeah. I have, especially yeah. younger people, yeah. saying, we don't want to have to double it to anybody yeah. to get things done. Yeah. Um, the fact that your, your principal, for example, was able to get $70 million, I believe, from, yeah. from Z, World, one of these international yeah. organizations yeah. for basic education, yeah. is because he has put in work. Mm. And even if he doesn't have to go and double it to anybody to give him money for basic education in the state, mm. international organizations are giving him money because they've seen the work. So what Nigerians are asking for is, is governors at a level where I don't need to double it to anybody. People are coming and saying, Edo is a hub for me to build, and private sector companies are calling you, different companies are saying, Thank let you. us put money together to build roads. We don't have to double it to anybody. So that's part of what Nigerians are saying. No. Yeah. We don't want that kind of governance anymore, don't let, you think? Let me tell you, you, when you are hostile, when you are hostile to a federal system, there's no way mm. that you can operate. Yeah. So I will not be hostile. That is the point okay, I'm making. That's the point. Okay. I will not be hostile to any federal. I don't need to use state resources to, to go and erect signboard that this is federal road. I don't need to do that. That money can do something else. That is the point I'm making. Yes. And in terms of bringing private sector, all this private sector, I think we'll have another day to really discuss what private sector is supposed to bring in and what government is supposed to bring in. Mm. I will not be a governor that mm. in the name of private sector use government resources to build project necessarily supposed to be funded by private sector. Mm. Because when I'm saying I'm bringing money in, the money should come from private sector. My equity should be, if you need the land, yeah, I, have give, I, I have it. I give you, that's my equity. Environment for them yes, conducive environment, yeah. builds in the uh, major infrastructure like road and water and sewage and the land. That is my equity. My equity should not be Taking loan, using so, government, so, yeah. you taking loan to build private. Yeah. No, 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 I won't do that. That's mm. not the kind of private sector I'll be bringing in. I also wanted to add a bit to you know, your analogy of if you needed to, you needed to lie down, which I see as uh, you being humble enough to go for so what you want. Put in here, exactly. If you need to slate the meetings, go there. If you need to wait at the door till yeah. you attend it, to, okay. till you get it down. Yes. Remember. The six governors. Mm. Yeah. Hold on, hold no. on. Remember, I should like they... to give us an analogy of how he did something like this and following due process no hold on now he he had to make some calls that on a normal day you'll be waiting till papers are filed oh till what he if got you're it? a governor from soko don't no, have access you no, call the PhD uh, so you don't have, have access, access. As, a as, a as, a as a governor as a governor as a vice president as governor but we're still assuming that those things were not done when was at the height of it in his he went to the opposition even in world bank you are talking about you need to convince them if you don't convince them they won't even give you money you have to convince them. You understand? So you need to convince. So, we, so are we, are we saying that it's not a good lobbyist? In terms of transportation, 
I know it's a hub in terms of uh, 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 growing the GDP of Nigeria. Mm. And that is a selling point for Edo, mm -hmm. for federal government, and for, for other uh, investors, other uh, multinationals and the rest. Another thing that we also make mistake as a state, and that's why I say I'm bringing experience on board. The experience is that I've also observed that the local government, states are not doing the work of local government. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to strengthen the local government and I'm going to, I'm going to eradicate and, and, and yeah, cancel so the office of, I mean, the, the, yeah. the office, the commissioner for local government and first. Yes. No, 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 it will not exist under my, mm -hmm. under my watch. Right. Because there's no Ministry of State Affairs in, uh, in Abuja, so why would I be? Mm. It's, so the local government needs to be strengthened to do trunk C roads, mm. not stay in trunk C roads. Finally, yeah, has gone. Have, have, you, have, you, picked, have you picked a deputy yeah. governor in? Let him, is, in the is, is, no, wait, is he a technocrat person you're looking to, or a more political person like you? I am taking the I'm taking government back to the people practical government, the party will play its role. It is the party that will decide that because it's key. Mm, I'm going to, to be contested on that political party That's and that leadership, take and that leadership will take charge. Thank you well so done. much you so for having us. Thank you. Mr. Shebu, he is the Deputy Governor of Edo State. Thank you so much for joining Thank us you. today. Thank and we you. wish you the best February. Yeah. And maybe after that, we'll now come. If you win, we'll bring you back when again. When I win, not if. Okay, when, when, when I win. When you win. We'll bring you back again for a conversation to see your plans. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Or as candidates. As candidates. Okay, you first as candidates, then the next to governor. Yeah. Thank you very Thank much. You so it was a pleasure having you. Thank you. Yeah. That's all you. we can take on today's show. It's Happy New Year to you. Enjoy, eat, feast. Tomorrow, Tomorrow work, work starts. <laughs> work starts. Have a lovely day to you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Good.